Have you ever tried to lose weight or start a fitness training program and not really followed through on what you wanted to achieve? Today I'm going to help you with how to set goals based on what you really want. And that's about getting clear about the desire that's in your heart, not just what you think you should do. And what techniques specifically you can do, like visualization, to make those dreams a reality. Because everything has to happen first in your mind, and then when it's motivated by the passion in your heart, you will find the power you need to breathe life in the physical steps the process that you need to observe in order to make those dreams a reality. I'm Shirley Archer and I'm the author of 15 books on fitness and health that have been translated into multiple languages and sold worldwide. I worked 15 years at Stanford University in the Health Improvement Program, which is part of the uh, Prevention Research Center. Let's begin by talking about how to know what it is you really want. And so many of us are influenced by the images we see in the media, what our family and friends tell us we should look like, should weigh, uh, what we ought to do. And what is important is that you really identify what's going to be different about your life when you achieve the goal that you want because that's how to get in touch with the motivation that's really in your heart and when you align the power of your thoughts with your desire then you're talking about power and energy behind that goal that can bring it into reality. And we also use the power of visualization, not only to see what it is you're going to achieve, but actually feel it as if it were real. What does that what feel like in your body? What does it sound like? What does it taste like? How is it to live in this healthy, body that you want to achieve. So let's start by just doing a quick uh, meditation together. Um, it's only going to be three minutes long. So it's very important to start out by sitting nice and tall. Relax and soften your shoulders and lengthen your spine. We'll do a couple of uh, deep breaths. Let go of tension. So inhale, tighten everything. Exhale, let it all go. Do that two more times. Inhale, everything tight, 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 and exhale, let all the tension go. One last time, inhale, and exhale, let it all go. Lengthen your spine. If you'd like to close your eyes, you may do so. If you're more comfortable keeping your eyes open, soften your gaze. If you close your eyes, relax the muscles around the eyes and soften uh, the muscles around the face. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Taking two more intentional breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling either through the nose or mouth. Sensing the body expand with the inhalation. Feeling the gentle contraction with the exhalation. In your mind's eye, visualize a time when you are at your healthiest and happiest. Imagine that you have the weight and the body that you want. Choose a specific setting. It can be an outdoor event with friends and family, or it can be at home, but choose a very specific setting. Notice what it is you're wearing, the colors, the way the clothes fit on your body,
Observe the people that you're with. Who is surrounding you when you're feeling healthy, happy, fit, in the healthy body that you want to accomplish? Who are you with? And what are you doing? Are you at a social event? What kind of activity are you engaged in? What's the energy of the mood around you? How do you feel? Healthy, fit, strong? How are you interacting with others? What is the weather like? Or the temperature around you? Are there any noticeable scents in the air? What, what, is, what is this occasion like? Feel the energy, hear the sounds of people or nature humanity around you. Notice the scents in the air, the temperature. Observe how you feel. Do you feel happy? Do you feel proud? Self-confident? Energetic? What are the feelings associated with being in the fit, healthy body that you want? And how are people acting toward you? And take a few more moments to really feel the wholeness of this setting. Bring your attention back to your breath. Observing the inhalation and observing the exhalation. Feeling the gentle expansion and contraction. And then gently start to move your fingers, roll your shoulders, and bring your energy back into the room. If your eyes have been closed, go ahead and open them wide. And give yourself a nice smile. Congratulations for accomplishing this exercise so successfully. T take a moment to jot down on a paper with you some of the impressions that you first came to awareness. I want you to really identify what it is specifically that's different about your life when you're enjoying the full fitness and health at the weight that you want from how your life is today. Because everything has to happen first in your mind and then when it's motivated by the passion in your heart, you will find the uh, motivation, the inspiration, the power you need to breathe life into the steps, the, the physical steps, the process that you need to observe in order to make those dreams a reality. So if takeaway from the exercise today is that you should identify the true reason why you want to lose weight or why you want to do more exercise. Is it because you want to have more energy? Is it because you feel that you will look more attractive? Is it that you feel like you want to have fewer aches and pains? What are the specific outcomes that you want to achieve? And once you have identified those outcomes, then let's think about what are the specific steps you need to take 
each week and just set your goals on a weekly basis and, and revise each week uh, your accomplishments. So if you're going to add a few more steps, if you're going to integrate one exercise session or two exercise sessions, do that on a week. When you accomplish that, build on your success the following week by doing a little bit more. But every week you're taking steps one by one toward the direction of what it is you want to achieve, knowing in your heart where it is exactly that you want to go. And then check in with that ideal self, write it down. Put a date on it, this event, if it's whatever it is you visualize. For me, for some reason, it's always a picnic outdoors where everyone's around and I'm wearing something I love. And start wearing more of what you love. Bring in those colors. Buy yourself more fitted clothing. Work toward that visualized uh, setting that really inspired you to say that is my perfect day and see if you can each week bring more of that perfect day into your life and before you know it that perfect day will be in your life. If this helped you I'd like you to uh, let me know right in the comments below like this video. I'm also going to uh, make available to you in the description a link to a worksheet where I outline these steps again and then provide you with lines where you can actually fill in your goals and the steps that you're gonna to take to make those goals happen, to make it a little bit easier for you to then check back and make sure that that's what you did. So I really, I'm here to support you. I'm here to help you. Come back, comment, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, if you like what you see, please uh, click on the circle and you can subscribe to my channel and uh, learn more with each video that we share. That's it for today. Have a great week. Celebrate health and happiness. Thank you so much.